Well, the event we have tonight uh, that we have the second Friday of every month called Art on Tap 527 um, was actually begun by a group of young professionals here in Greensburg that wanted to um, have a venue for people to come on Fridays after work. Um, we loved what they were doing. They did such a great job um, helping to bring people in and bartending and doing other things at the event that we thought we would um, form a group um, called the Future Leaders of the Westmoreland. They came up with that name. And it started with uh, several of the people who volunteered for the happy hour events. And it has grown to include some others. And it's going to keep growing. Um, we're accepting members anytime. And we're hoping that these uh, young people will um, be ambassadors for the museum and sort of be the future members, future donors, um, and future supporters. Actually, Art on Tap, which was initially aimed at young professionals, draws all kinds of people, all ages. Um, so we have people who have been coming to the museum for a long time, long time members and supporters. We have new people, we have people, lots of people who've never been here before. Um, and we have, of course, the young professionals that, that we're trying to get. Our education department actually, um, even every Friday night, has a, a teen council that comes. So although they're not participating directly in the happy hour, they do come and take part of, in the free food. Well, Art on Tap is it's a happy hour event. So um, for $7, you get two drink tickets. We serve beer and wine. There's also soft drinks. There's free food every week, um, sometimes donated by area restaurants. Um, uh, but the biggest hit is uh, that every week there's a scout or every month, excuse me, there's a scavenger hunt. Um, our education department puts together a really fun tour through the collection um, and their prizes. So uh, we once heard a visitor to Art on Tap not refer to it as the happy hour at the museum, but as the scavenger hunt where you can also get two drinks. So we were really happy that the program um, stood, stood up uh, to the actual refreshments. <laughs> People usually come, they have a great time, and they come back. So um, the attendance for Art on Tap has been growing steadily since we started it about a year and a half ago. Um, we've had hundreds of people here. Um, a couple hundred people, I think, was our, our record, which is actually um, pretty crowded. And so the museum, which is going to be expanding in the next couple of years, really needs the extra space. We've got a wonderful collection of American art. Um, and you can learn about uh, the art of your own country. You can learn about the history of Pennsylvania, where we all live. Um, we have a wonderful display behind me um, of uh, scenes of industry of Pittsburgh during the Big Steel era. We have wonderful um, landscapes. We have um, all kinds of art from 1750 to the present. They can call me. They can also call Laura Zorch, who works here at the museum and works a lot with the group, and Jessica Zamiska, who um, uh, actually plans the Art on Tap events. 724-837-1500. I'm at extension 30.